the big international news coming through from West Asia. The Israel-Hamas conflict has entered its fifth day and Israel continues to strike targets in the Gaza Strip and are all set to initiate ground invasion as well. We have Palki Sharma of First Post joining in from Israel to get us the latest ground report. It is day five of the war between Israel and Hamas. Uh, the death toll continues to rise. Uh, more than 1,200 uh, dead reported on the Israeli side now, more than 900 in Gaza. And uh, there are many more who are injured, so the toll is expected to go up. Uh, apart from all of this, some 1,500 bodies of Hamas terrorists were recovered on Israeli territory, uh, and that was reported yesterday. So uh, the numbers look very big, and the fight is only going to escalate. As of now, fighting is happening uh, uh, on three fronts. Uh, the focus remains Gaza and it is being bombed uh, regularly in waves of airstrikes uh, from the Israeli side. So that's that's very much on and that's going to go up. But on the northern side, uh, on the border with Lebanon, uh, there is fighting between Hezbollah and Israel and uh, missiles have been fired. Uh, then there is Syria and uh, uh, Iran uh, Israel, I'm sorry, is, is said to be firing missiles from the Golan Heights into Syria on Iranian assets, on Hezbollah assets. Uh, we have to wait and see how uh, this escalates uh, and if it does. But on uh, on Gaza, uh, there is there is clarity now that there is going to be a ground invasion. Uh, the Israeli military buildup on the border with Gaza is going up. The U.S. has deployed military assets. Yesterday, a plane carrying critical munitions landed here in Israel. Uh, uh, the U.S. has already deployed one warship, that is uh, USS Gerald Ford. Uh, uh, another one is making its way towards this region, and uh, that is uh, the USS uh, Eisenhower. So two warships, plus U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is expected to land in Jerusalem tomorrow to discuss the way forward with the Israeli leadership. So the ground offensive now is, is a question of uh, when and not if it is going to happen. What we have to and see is how far Israel wants to take it and what is the end game here. Do, you, do they want to go into to Gaza and dismantle the Hamas infrastructure and uh, neutralize the leadership and come back or do they want to occupy Gaza, which is also something that they've done in the past. They have occupied Gaza, but uh, the, the military and the political and the monetary cost of that is very, very high uh, given the sentiment in Gaza. And Gaza has seven checkpoints, six of them open into Israel, which have obviously been sealed and blocked now. Uh, the seventh opens into Rafah, uh, Egypt. And that is where thousands of Gazans are said to be gathering to make their way into Egypt to uh, escape uh, the bombarding that is on uh, and, and buildings are being reduced to rubble. Uh, morgues are overwhelmed. Uh, the number of uh, dead is going up. More than uh, 250 children, uh, some 300 women have already died. Uh, so it is not looking good at this point. An escalation is a given. Uh, the statements uh, from uh, regional leaders are not helping matters, uh, including the one that came from the top leadership of Iran. Their supreme leader Ayatollah Khamenei has said uh, that we have, we are not Iran, Iran is not involved uh, in this Hamas attack. At the same time, he also said that I I will kiss the hands of those who carried out this attack on Israel, which has suffered irreparable uh, damage. Uh, so that is only going to escalate matters. Uh, we are looking at uh, things. Uh, uh, going bad before they get uh, going going worse before they get better uh, here in Israel. All right, that is the very difficult situation on the ground in West Asia right now. We're going to keep bringing you updates on this front through the day as well. So uh, that is what we are tracking right now in terms of the conflict going on between Israel and the Hamas. With that, it is time for a short break now.